Hey there, everybody. Thank you for joining me for You Draw Studio once again. Today, we're going to try something a little bit different. Draw a picture that I like and see if we can put some detail on it rather than just get really elaborate with something here. All right, so we're going to get started here. We're going to press A. We go to paint. Tell you what, let's try watercolor. As always, I apologize for any of the noise outside. Sometimes it gets a little noisy, but let's not let that be a distraction. Instead, let's just think about how we're doing some painting while being out in the open, being around people, listening to life go by. Tell you what, since we're outside with people, why don't we just hang out on the sidewalk? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna try and work on our technique a little bit. So, why don't we take take our almighty paint bucket here, get ourselves a nice color. Let's do something. Something looks a little bit like the sky. There we go. Now, let's switch on over to, tell you what, rather than just move up to one of the big old brushes, let's try the airbrush. See if we can't get a cool effect going here. Now, I want to switch to the gold, but I'm going to go to a little bit of a darker tone. I'm going to do shadow. One thing you want to remember when you're doing your painting or your drawing or anything like that, you want to work from the back forward. It gets a little difficult to try and put some paint behind. So it's always a little easier to start all the way in the back and just layer paint on top. Remember here, we're not master artists. We're not experts. Truth be told, we don't even have steady hands half the time. <laughs> but what we like to do is we like to have fun. Oh, that's a little too bright. There we go. Tell you what, that's our... That's going to be our background. What we're going to do now is... Oh, that's charcoal. That's interesting. But I'll tell you what, for right now, we're going to just grab our paint. I gotta say I'm not a not a big fan of that, but I'm not gonna go ahead and call that a mistake. This is learning, this is what we do, this is how we do it. You know, there's a lot of a lot of people in a lot of places out there that think that making a mistake is just the worst thing you can possibly do. They'd rather not do than do and make a mistake. I say, you know what? Like the great man said, there are no mistakes, there's only happy accidents. I believe there are some mistakes, but you know what? That's how you learn. If you don't do, you might not make a mistake, but you also might not get anything right. I 
Alrighty, let's... Let's switch to our old pen here. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the black. See if we can't give ourselves some fine, fine little details. A little bit of a shine there. line got away from us. It's all right, though. How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully you're doing all right. Maybe you picked up a wee draw and you're drawing along with me. Maybe you're letting the sound of my voice put you to sleep. Maybe you turned this video off a minute ago, in which case you're not hearing what I say anyway, so, well, cheers to you anyway. It should be pretty obvious what I'm, what I'm painting here. I'll tell you what, let's switch over to the green. I think I like the green background better. I've always been a big fan of the Legend of Zelda series. There from the beginning. I remember going to Kitty City with my with my father, looking for a game to buy, and he wouldn't buy me that Legend of Zelda game at first because it was the gold cartridge, and that one was $30, which was much more than any of the other games were. Ooh, that that's a, that's a harsh looking color. Let's let's dull that down a little bit. Funny to think that at $30 that game was too expensive. But it had the cool gold cartridge and the crazy commercial that sold it. Those guys playing the game that clearly didn't know how to play that game. I'll tell you what, let's move on to. You know, I'll tell you what, let's. We're here, might as well go for it. But it had that cool commercial and I remember thinking, ah, I wanna play that game. Reminds me of a, of an old adventure game on the Atari called, if you can believe it, Adventure. I used to like that game. Had uh, dragons that looked like big ducks. But I used to like that game, so I remember wanting to play this Legend of Zelda. Looked interesting. Never looked back. But I always liked the Triforce, especially. The Triforce was something that... I don't know, it spoke to me in a way. It told me about the three things that you need in this world. Wisdom, power, and courage. You know, there's a, there's a, I believe it's called the serenity prayer. It says, have the serenity to accept the things you can't change. The courage to change the things you can. And the knowledge to know the difference. It's an important thing to say. But when you think about it. When it comes to the Legend of Zelda, that also kind of works. You know, here you got the Triforce. There we go. You know, you've got the Triforce, and in a way, the Triforce gives you all the same, same ideals. I definitely like to think Give me 
the courage, or I should say, give me the power to accept the things I can't change. Give me the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's a good lesson to have. You know, I like having everybody here and we can all hang out, draw, draw some goofy pictures. But I also want you to leave, maybe learn a little something. Maybe thinking that your day was a little bit better for sticking around with us. And who knows, maybe at some point along the line, but no time soon as far as I can figure out, I'll actually learn how to draw the way this game was intended. Get a little Triforce here. There, how's that look? Tell you what, why don't we switch on over to the red? Because what's our hero? Without a few hearts. Let's make sure these hearts are full, because the last thing we want is that crazy beeping, letting us know that we're almost dead, and the longer it goes, the longer we kind of hope the character just plops dead. No, but we don't want that. That would be the end of our adventure. But for this week, I think this will be the end of our adventure. A little bit of a masterpiece. Give that the old Uncle Silver Gaming signature there. There we are. Got a happy little Triforce. A few happy hearts. Happy Master Sword, a happy painter, and hopefully some happy viewers. Thank you everybody for joining me. Once again, if you like this, if you like this video, be sure to click like. If not, please don't click dislike. <laughs> you take care everybody. Have a good night and happy drawing.